All right. As we just mentioned, we'll begin this lesson by taking another look at some of the basics of working with arrays. We'll go to our text editor here, and in our document root, let's create a file called morearrays.php, like that. We saw previously that to create an array, I could just use the array function and provide a comma-separated list of the values, like that, and another number. If I would var dump this array then, like this, and I would go to the web browser, we would see that it had created an array with six elements, and by default it assigns to each of the values in the array a numeric index or an integer index starting at zero, and it just increments these one every single time. To access an element in the array, then I would just provide the integer index like this, or, you know, or uh, three, and so on. However, in PHP, I do not have to use integer indexes into my arrays, and I'm in fact free to use string indexes as well. So let's take a look at that, and let's write a little array to represent a, an airplane, let's say. So let's say the make of the airplane is a Cessna, the model is a C17RG, and we'll say the year is 1974, like that. Now you see here, with the commas, I've provided three values for this array, but I've actually provided special keys for these arrays with the string. The way I separate the key and the value is I use this arrow here, this equal greater than, and that says at this key, assign this value. At this key, assign this value. And at this key, assign this value. Now if we do a var dump of this array, and we go back to the web browser like this, and we'll reload the page. You'll see here I have an array, array of three elements with the values, the Cessna, the 177RG, and the 1974, but we've now got the string indexes by which we can access these in our array. For example, I could say echo, stir, r, make, or I could say model, etc. I do not actually have to only use strings as keys. I can, in fact, using this arrow operator, specify numeric indexes as well. So if I wanted to do R2, I could say at offset 124, I want to have uh, fish at offset this crazy number here. I want to have banana, like that. And at this offset here, I want to have this number. Interestingly enough, then, if I go ahead and do this and add another element to the array, what it does is it takes a look at the largest integer index it's seen, which would be this one, and adds one to it and uses that as the next integer index. So let's say happy. Now if I var dump r2, we'll go ahead and load it into the browser here you'll see the newest index here is actually one bigger than the previous largest index that it's seen. One more thing about accessing elements in the array, of course, as I've just shown, we can use the integer index like this, or if we want, we can use variables. I can say x equals 124, and then I can say echo r2x like that. Note that we are actually free in PHP to add arrays as elements to other arrays, and in fact that PHP provides some little syntactic goodies to help us make this easier. For example, here I could take this array 2 and add it as an element to the end of array 1. So I could say r equals r2 like that, and now if I did a var dump of r, and we go back to the browser and reload it, you'll see, let's go view the source to make it easier to look at, you'll see here that in addition to all the other elements, you'll see that there's a new element of type array with those elements that R2 had. To access these elements, I can actually just use multiple levels of these square brackets. So for example, we know that at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and now at element 6, we have this R2, we could actually say echo R6, and then we could actually use an index into the second array, so we could say print out the value at 124, like that. Now if we save this and reload the page, 
Sure enough, PHP gives us the value string like that. These are called multi-dimensional arrays, and we can define them like this. We can just add arrays to other arrays, or even when we're defining arrays, we can say new array equals array one, two, three. We can actually just add other arrays like this, seven, eight, nine, and we can do it to arbitrary depth as much as we want, and PHP handles that quite well for us. So multi-dimensional arrays are something you'll use sometimes, and they're quite interesting. To count the number of elements in an array, we'll actually use a function in PHP called, oddly enough, count. So if I want to see how many things are in the R array, like this, we just save that, we reload it, and sure enough, it tells us that there are six elements in this array. If we want to, if we have a variable here that has been initialized to null, or we have an array that doesn't have anything in it, when we ask to see the count of that, PHP will just tell us that there is nothing in it. Let's now take another look at variable expansion in strings, but this time specifically look at how that affects arrays. We've seen simple variable expansion, and for a lot of array things in PHP, we actually can do simple variable expansion on those as well. So I could say actually here, r, show me what's at 0, 1. Let's see at index 1 like this and PHP can do that variable expansion no problem. PHP can actually do variable expansion if the, with simple variable expansion pretty well too. So let's say x equals 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, like that. Let's say x equals 4, and then I can put x here for the array index. And now when I reload this page, you'll see PHP has no trouble doing that with simple variable expansion. However, as we saw earlier with the post array, when we try to do variable expansion with string indexes, PHP doesn't like that if we try to do simple variable expansion. So let's look at str r make like that. And let's go ahead and reload the page. And you'll see PHP gets quite grumpy about that and doesn't like it at all. To fix this, all we have to do is use the complex variable expansion like that and then you'll see PHP now has no troubles with that at all. If we want to do multi-dimensional ar uh, array access and variable expansion, we will actually need to use complex variable expansion too. All right, to remove an element from an array in PHP, we'll just use a function called unset. So let's say, for example, we want to remove 0, 1, 2. We want to remove the string fish from our R array. We could just say, remove the element at index 2. Now if I var dump r, we'll save that. And when we reload it in our browser, you'll see the array now only has five elements, and we have the indexes 0, 1, 3, 4, 5. You'll notice it doesn't reshift or shuffle around any of the other indexes once I've deleted some data. All it does is it just removes the one I told it to unset, and nothing else about the array changes. To delete an entire array in PHP, I can actually just use the unset function, and spell it correctly like that, on the array variable like that. And this deletes the array variable. And now if I tried to say if is set r, echo I'm here, else echo I'm gone, you'll see here in the web browser, it's gone. The unset function, in fact, will let us unset any variable we have in our script. It doesn't have to be arrays. So if I have here x equals 10, and then I unset x, x is now no longer defined in the script. And if I try to use it, PHP will complain that I'm using an undefined variable. So now we've got a pretty good fundamental set of uh, skills to work with arrays in PHP. And we're ready to move on to some more interesting things. Looking to advance your career by acquiring new skills? Tired of expensive off-site training programs? Wish you could learn from the best instructors in the industry? Look no further than Live Lessons. Self-paced, personal video instruction by the world's leading technology publishers. Each Live Lesson comes with a DVD featuring three to four hours of instructor-led classroom training, sample program code that allows you to work along with your personal instructor, 
and an example-rich study guide. Live lessons allow you to watch the entire course from start to finish or navigate directly to any of the individual lessons. You'll literally watch over the shoulder of your instructor as he shows you how to build state-of-the-art applications. Live lessons, the power of the world's leading technology experts at your fingertips. To learn more, visit mylivelessons.com today.